Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Ashley Amethyst and today's video is all about keto. So the reasons why I wanted to talk about it is because I've been on it and I had a lot of people ask me a lot of questions. So if you're interested in learning something new or learning about keto, just keep on watching. A lot of people know what keto is, a lot of people know what low carb is, but they don't often think that they're two separate entities. And I just want, I'm gonna move my, here we go. So if you see me looking down, it's on my computer. A ketogenic diet is a high fat, moderate protein, low carb lifestyle that switches your body from burning glucose to burning fat. When your body burns fat, they turn to ketones. And I learned that in the past, I learned pretty much that I don't need glucose to go into burning fat. It's because your body doesn't need glucose to survive, but your body needs fat to survive and it can actually turn into glycogen. There's a whole scientific thing about it, but it's really boring if you're not into science. So. How is low carb different from keto? In a low carb, non-keto diet, the amount of protein you consume turns into insulin, which means that your body will not burn the fat cells, but rather the glucose cells. In low carb, your body isn't burning fat unless your insulin levels drop. And they usually drop when you're in low carb, like high protein, when you're sleeping. So therefore, all the working out you're doing, all the the meal prep, making sure you're high in protein isn't helping your cause unless you're working out literally six to seven days a week. And that's why I chose the ketogenic diet, which is high fat, which is hard to get around at first, moderate protein. So my fat con macros have to be much higher than my protein macros and I'm going to insert a uh, picture right here on the app that I use to keep with my counting macros when I don't have a scale or I'm on the go and it's called Lifesum. It's a great app and I highly recommend it. So why I myself personally went on the ketogenic diet? Um, if you're new and you don't know, uh, I have fibromyalgia, I have polycystic ovary, ovary syndrome, and I also have central sensitization syndrome. And this left me in cyclical and non-cyclical pain between cramping or just random bursts of pain, migraines, the works. Um, I chose, I researched that a high fat diet helps to soothe inflammation, it also regulates your hormones, and it decreases stress in my central nervous system. Since July 1st, I have had no major migraine, less cramps per month, more energy, better days, and the best part, I have finally lost weight. And everybody with polycystic ovary syndrome will tell you that the hardest thing to do is to lose weight. So what do I eat in a day? Eggs, bacon, and avocado every day. I'm just kidding. There's a lot more to eat than eggs, bacon, and avocado. But it is cutting bread, it is cutting pasta, and it is cutting sugar. So my meals kind of differ what, based on the day. However, in the last week or two, this is what I've been eating just to stay consistent. My first meal is either a no-carb, no-sugar vanilla co iced coffee, and I will leave a recipe right here, or egg bites. And my egg bites have, they have Gruyere cheese, they have cottage cheese or cream cheese, it depends on what I want. And then they also have mozzarella cheese and I add bacon and sometimes I add mixed vegetables. I haven't tried spinach ones yet, but I'm gonna, I'll learn. Anyways, here is a recipe for the egg bites. I, this week, especially, I've been using avocado as a 
bringing up my fat content. So I have mashed avocado and I sprinkle some tahini in. And if I'm feeling like I need some more protein because I am going to go work out or some something just feels a little off, I make sure to have a little bit of steak, usually about one to two ounces, with that meal with butter. My second meal consists of a salad. I love salad. Um, I've now just started cutting out my salad dressings to Primal Kitchen salad dressings. Um, so far I've tried the balsamic vinegar one and thank God for Primal Kitchen. Um, I also have the ranch and the Caesar. Hoping they make a blue cheese one and if they do I'm gonna have to find it on the internet. Anyways, um, if it's not a salad with a protein, it is a tuna salad, but I use Primal Kitchen mayo with cucumbers and tahini, mix it up, and I usually have like a huge health, healthy bowl. It's like this big. Um, a snack can consist for myself, cheese sticks, cucumbers with tahini, cucumbers with cream cheese, fat bombs, I've got two awesome recipes. I will leave, leave one right here. And I'll leave the other one right here. Um, but also you can snack on nuts. You just have to make sure it's not a high carb nut. I heard that cashews are high carb. So if you like cashews, kind of keep your portion small. The reason I can't is because I'm allergic to nuts, so. I guess I'm out of being nutty. Anyways, if I have a third meal, if I'm hungry enough that day, it usually can consist of a pork, fish, or grass-fed beef. I'm allergic to chicken, but I also heard that you're not supposed to eat lean meat. You are supposed to, supposed to eat high-fat meat. So if you want chicken, you get a chicken thigh instead of check, a chicken breast. And then vegetables made in butter, ghee, or animal fat. Usually if I'm having bacon, I'm gonna cook that bacon and then I have Brussels sprouts in my fridge right now. I just throw the Brussels sprouts in after the bacon. Don't, don't like take the grease out, just keep it where it is and then cook them in the bacon and then I add some salt and pepper at the end. And uh, oh, and Worcestershire sauce. I love Worcestershire sauce. So here's a question. Can I still have soda? You can have it if it has no sugar, no carb. A lot of diet sodas are like that or Coke Zeros. I've cut it out completely. When I have a soda, soda craving, I drink a Pellegrino or a Perrier with lime when I'm out and or at home. A LaCroix, which they have a whole ton of flavors and also Zevia, but sometimes Zevia tastes too much like Stevia. Okay, but plain water every day? No, no, no. Mio, which is totally inside this right now, um, is no sugar, no carb, and can help you get through your recommended ounces so it's not just plain water. And if you don't have Mio, or you don't like the taste of Mio, you could always just add some coconut water, which also helps to balance your electrolytes, magnesium, and potassium. But you have to make sure that if you're going to purchase coconut water, you flip onto the side, read your ingredients list, read your nutritional value, and make sure that the sugar content inside the can or box of coconut water is less than eight grams per eight ounces. So earlier I mentioned fasting, right? Did I? Well, here, I'm mentioning it now if I forgot to. What is intermittent fasting? For me, it's fasting from 8.30 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. the next day. Sometimes I even push it to 20, 21 hours fast and then three hours of eating. For me, it helps curb my cravings and it balances my fat fuel lifestyle. In, uh, intermittent fasting is not for restricting calories for weight loss and fasting on the same days. 
that can develop into a slippery slope and you can have some it it could hurt your body internally and it also could develop into anorexia. I do intermittent fasting on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Why on those days? Those are the days I go to the gym. So I know that I fast, burn fat, fast a little bit more, and then eat. What do I do at the gym? I do circuit training as well as light cardio. The reason for light cardio for myself and anybody who has chronic pain or autoimmune, um, if you do too much cardio, you can send your body into cortisol, like increasing your cortisol levels, which means that your body will bloat and in turn gain weight because it's feeling a shock to its system. I have a busy lifestyle and can't cook everything at home every day. I can't do keto, right? Well, you can if your mind isn't in it, into it. When we stop for fast food, I order from Burger King, or we order from Burger King and Wendy's. I get a double burger with cheese, no condiments. Take off the bun, eat just the burger. Or a double burger with bacon and cheese, no condiments. With a side salad with ranch dressing, move the bacon to the salad, eat the burger, and then eat the salad with the bacon, which is healthy fat. When I go to Chipotle, because I love Chipotle, I don't know if you do, but I love Chipotle. I get a salad, no dressing, no rice, no beans, with fajita veggies, tomato salsa, sour cream and cheese, and sometimes guacamole. And yes, I know, guacamole is extra. When I want a poke bowl from Big Kahuna's, which is in my town, I get a mixed greens bowl, add fish, add soy sauce, which is a cheat because of the sugar, Add seaweed salad, add edamame, avocado, and togarashi, which is a mayo-based sauce. When we go out, I order a salad or a protein and a veggie, and I make sure to ask that they cook everything that I have ordered in butter or animal fat, as usually they use canola oil, and it's not extra virgin pressed, and that's a whole nother situation. I also make sure that I stay away from the vinaigrettes because of the higher sugar content, so I usually stick to blue cheese or ranch. I also order water with everything. Usually it's a Perrier or a Pellegrino when we're out at a restaurant, and I usually use lime instead of lemon because I feel like lemon, you need a sweetener, and lime actually can just, it's milder. Or I ask for a bottle of water at a fast food establishment. Are you still skeptical? Well, here's my before and after at five weeks with a week in between in Puerto Rico with drinking alcohol and everything. Still skeptical? I've gone from 210 pounds to 183 pounds since July 1st. Today's August 26th. So almost two months and 30 pounds. Still skeptical. I've gone from a tight size 16, probably a size 18, 20, to XL, to an XL, or size almost 12, really close. I know that I'm just gonna blow through 12 and go to 10 real quickly. Still skeptical. My cycles are regulated. I haven't had a serious migraine, and my skin's actually clearing up. Still skeptical, I am wearing my entire wedding set for the first time in over a year. And it's loose. Still skeptical, if you have any information that I can't give you, check out Keto Connect on YouTube. Honestly, you guys, thank you so much. You saved my life with a whole bunch of recipes. And if you're not into the whole internet YouTube thing, you can pick up this book by Leanne Vogel. It's called The Keto Diet. It has a ton of recipes in the back of the book, as well as a lot of inform informative reading, and you can pick that up at Target. Still skeptical and have pain problems, chronic pain and fibro and whatever? My, week my weekly pain used to be around a seven and a half, eight. I think we are at about a five, six now. Still skeptical and have questions? Leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them.
Okay, well we got to the end of the video. If you like this informative kind of video and you like me, please like and subscribe. And remember, I post videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.